For many parents, getting their students involved in extracurricular activities such as sports, clubs, and before and after school programs is important for their overall development. But is there such a thing as too much? Joining me now is Holly Humphrey. She's a licensed professional counselor with ThriveWorks. Great to have you on the show. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes, absolutely. All right, so let's talk a little bit as we're thinking about back to school time. Let's talk about some of the activities that our kids can get involved in and the benefits that they can, you know, get from that. So there's, you know, a wide variety of activities. You, I, I would say branch out, you know, don't stick with just sports, but do give them a, a choice to try out, especially when they're younger, lots of sports, but um, musical instruments, art, anything creative, because that allows for expression as well as getting the physical activity or energy out. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, joining different activities is just a great way for them to explore and expand and develop not just cognitively and emotionally, but physically as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it right. It builds resilience, it boosts self-esteem, lots of benefits. So many benefits, yeah. right, exactly. So how can we encourage our child if they're maybe reluctant to try something new? How do we encourage them to just, you know, go in there, meet new people and give it a, give it a go? I think one, being a role model as a parent, you know, actually, showing them that you are engaged in activities yourself is a great way to show that it's okay to jump into something that you're new to. Um, but breaking it down into steps so that it's not just brand new, that they are familiar um, with it by you know doing it with you, doing activities that are just fun together and kind of mm -hmm. playing together, but you know working through any questions that they might have. Um, I know a lot of times it is nice to figure out if there is a, another buddy that is doing it as well mm -hmm. to kind of ease that transition into a new yeah. activity. Yeah, that's sometimes what we get hung up on is the, well, I don't know anyone. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, but you're going to meet new people. Yes. So yeah, yeah getting, uh, once you can get over that hurdle, mm -hmm. then usually it all works out in the end for yeah, sure. Yeah, that first step is hard. Yeah, it really is. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, um, they're involved in these activities and some kids want to join everything and they want to do everything um, and then we can get into that situation where we have an over scheduled child yeah. uh, talk to me a little bit about you know that dilemma and how we can avoid that again talking with your child you know what they are capable of doing in addition to their daily activities you know going to school getting homework done if they're a teenager, if they're working part time, you know, really sitting down with them and figuring out, okay, what is your time going to look like? What can you actually really physically commit to time wise? Mm -hmm. And, you know, just assessing, do you have the flexibility, you know, or is this, you know, a situation where you need to give up something to try something new? Yeah. And sometimes as parents, we can over schedule our kids. We don't realize we're doing yeah. it. And then we're really doing them a disservice. Yeah. So what advice do you have for parents to kind of maybe keep an eye on that and maybe just kind of relax a little bit on you know, the schedule. Yes, it is easy to get caught up in. Well, they seem to be liking it. So, you know, they keep asking to do all these other things. So why not say yes? Mm -hmm. But you are the parent. Um, you know, they're still developing cognitively. So they sometimes do not recognize when they're, they are in over their head. So if you start to see signs of anxiety and worries, um, they're not sleeping well at night, they're not eating like they used to, some other activities are faltering like getting their homework done or just engaging with the family, you know, mm. because they're just burnt out, they're just right. done, they're yeah. in their room crashed. Yeah. You know, those are all signs to look out for. If they're younger, you know, sometimes um, anxiety and depression or symptomatic in unusual ways like stomach aches and headaches. Oh. So if your child is complaining of a physical ailment a lot, mm -hmm. then it could actually be tied into an emotional yeah, I didn't distress. even think about that. Yeah, so it could be like a physical ailment instead mm -hmm. of, you know, something else that would present it that way. Um, all right, so let's talk a little bit about quitting gracefully then. You know, we've got our student who's overwhelmed. They're showing anxiousness and, you know, some, maybe some depression. Mm -hmm. How do we then decide, okay, the, let's call it quits? Because sometimes we want to be like, okay, you committed to this, let's finish it. Yeah. But maybe that might not be the best. Yeah, and I would say that type of mentality is great when they're first, you know, they're young, they're first trying out the different sports and that sort of thing. 
you know, because there are days that kids just don't want to do it. Yeah. And you have to say, well, no, you, you made the, the commitment. Let's, you know, we don't want to let the team down. And then once they're there, they seem fine. Mm -hmm. You know, if they still seem like they're enjoying it once they're there, it's it's good for them. Mm -hmm. But if they seem like that it's just painful, that they're just not having fun with it any longer, then you want to look at um, seeing if you can lighten the load, you know, take away um, one of their activities that, you know, would make it a little bit easier for them. Discuss the consequences with them. Okay, if we do quit this, this is how it's gonna look like. This is the steps that need to be taken. So, you know, having a discussion with the coach. Um, if it's, you know, a teen, then, you know, pushing a little bit more autonomy and responsibility on them to actually reach out to the coach and discuss their yeah. concerns that they're having right. at this point. Yeah, and then they're, they're capable of having that adult conversation. Yes. It might be difficult, but that's all part of growing up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's a good teachable moment. Yeah, it really is. It's a perfect uh, teachable moment. All right. Well, Holly, thank you so much for being here and helping us guide this as we, you know, manage all schedules and, of course, you know, the, the stress of, of life and school. Appreciate thank you. it. Thanks.